So how did I fund my Kickstarter so quickly? So hello, welcome to Josiah is Right. And the short answer is I funded it because of my friends, particularly some friends in high school that, so when I launched the campaign, I asked them ahead of time, you know, if you're gonna back it, not knowing for sure that they would, hoping that they would, uh, that if they would back it right away to help get it started well and get some momentum going. And that meant a lot. And that's really why it funded. And I think that's kind of the secret to a successful Kickstarter, having people that you know are gonna back it. <laughs> and then um, a manageable amount. Like I know that I wouldn't be able to raise $5,000 or what have you, but I could raise 500. Um, I wasn't sure that I could raise 500, but now we are at a thousand. So I'm gonna talk about a few things with that that I'm excited about. So first up, so not only have we funded at $500, but we've reached our first stretch goal at 1,000 and we are just over $1,000 right now. So that is awesome. I, I am so happy to get that far because that means I can print additional pages which bring more content, including a look at the original Young Zombie, well, which was originally printed in, so that's a poster of Astounding Tales of Adventure, where Young Zombie existed first as I was a teenage zombie, a six page story in that, which was an anthology released specifically at the Oaks Theater in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I grew up and I had an event there, which you'll see in print now, not all of that printed, but you'll see sort of snippets of that in print along with the story behind the whole process and what took us so long to get Young Zombie finished for you. And I say us, I mean me, I mean Judy, I mean my friend Brian pitching in, different artists throughout the years. Uh, Kai Willis, you know, did the original, the interior art. Brian Langer brought it all together with his design. Bill Mouse did a cover, Rick Streak did a cover, and those guys just all helped contribute to make this something special. And so I can sort of tell a little bit more of that story. And if we reach our next stretch goal, that adds more of that including printing the full six page original story and then our, our next stretch goal beyond that if we get to so that's 1500 the next one if we get to 2000 that would be a restoration of the original pages whereas right now it would just be a scan of the pages from that comic so dan smith the original artist he has those pages but they're not digitally he did them you know paper the old-fashioned way so he has the paper pages of them but we need to rescan and recolor because the files have been lost to time it never existed digitally it only existed in print the files were transferred obviously to get it printed but i no longer have them fortunately I had a hard drive crash and i guess it went with it most things were saved but that unfortunately wasn't so uh we would restore that and get it in there at the ultimate edition at two thousand dollars uh, if we if we if are able to make another thousand dollars in the next seven days in the next week so we uh i need your help to get there if you can and that would be amazing and then beyond that five thousand which is a big 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 marker and again i said i didn't think i can get there and i really don't think i can get there but that would be enough to fund issue two of this story we'd meet gwen the werewolf we'd meet her cat we'd meet i haven't even named the cat we'd meet her cat we'd meet um ernie no, I'm sorry, not Ernie. We meet Frank and his new form. Um, something bad might happen to Frank in issue one of Young Zombie, but he still sticks around. And so we'd meet the new version of Frank and a few other characters. We'd meet Akira, the Akita, who is a monster hunter. And we'd get to meet these new characters in issue two that would go on to tell the rest of the Young Zombie ongoing story. So that's the, the big goals out there that I hope we can reach. And a few things that I've added in the hopes that we can reach those are some new rewards and some new stretch goals. So new rewards specifically, you see that poster right there behind me. That is the I Was a Teenage Zombie poster, another thing from before the name change. This is right before the name change. When we were promoting at a Comic-Con several years ago, I had this printed in a couple other posters from some other projects. And this is now hanging on my garage. And I want someone can have this back us at the amount of $50 and you would get that poster right there. The poster that's on my wall. So I'd have to figure out something else to hang there. So that is that. We have some new add-ons as well. Add-ons include our dollar comics. So you can pick a comic for a dollar or a 20 comics for a dollar each, whatever you might like. And I'm gonna pick dollar bin comics. From my dollar bin comics, I have a collection of comics that I've gotten from dollar bins over the years. I will tell you the story of why I picked that comic, why it's significant to me. These are some of the actual dollar bin comics. There's a lot more but that can be added to any reward at any level. Also, my short story book, Five Left, and you can get it for only $5. That's the original edition. It has a chapter from another novel, Storm the Machine. It is finished, but hope to edit and eventually publish after The Paper Boy, which is, of course, what this project is really all about for me, The Paper Boy. But you can read four short stories and that first chapter of Storm the Machine. And these are things, hopefully, that can help us reach our next stretch goal, as I said, and 
and we are past our first one, which is amazing, and I thank you so much. But let's, hopefully we can get to more in the next seven days before this project ends. And finally, our Christmas special. So I'm calling this the Bill Miles BOGO. So on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve only, you can pick Bill Mouse cover, right? If you pick Bill's cover, you can then pick any other cover you want as a bonus. So it's Bill Mouse BOGO. So whichever one you want, add that in there, pick the Bill Mouse cover, but this is only Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, our Christmas special, the Bill Mouse BOGO. Pick Bill's cover, pick another cover, anyone you want. And finally, my last Christmas special is going to extend through the end of the campaign, but there will only be three of these. So those of you who are friends of mine and have followed my stuff for a while, I used to make comic collage art. I used to make it at a space in art gallery in LA with my company that when this was all conceived and I would sell those at the gallery. So I'm gonna be doing a limited number, only three. This will be my last three comic collage pieces ever. I've stopped doing it and it just was something that I I stopped finding the joy in and I want to do a last few for this project. So there'll be some Marvel characters. You can do Spider-Man, Thor, Doctor Strange, Captain America. I'll list a few more characters. You'd pick one of these characters. It would be a nine by 12 size collage at $75 each. These will be the last ever. You get that collage. You also get your choice of comic book cover. Thank you guys so much and thank you so much for funding this comic. I am not traveling home to see my family this Christmas for, um, it's which is really, really sad. Uh, it's been hard for me to be home, but this campaign has helped me in just having something to focus on and to think about and to connect with people. And um, I make comics because I love comics and I love stories and I love connecting with people about them. And it was really cool to be at LA Comic Con to talk about this, to tell people about this is my comic that I made. You've got to check it out. I'm, I'm proud of it. I love it. Like a little kid, you know, you want to share the awesome thing that you, you've made. And uh, um, I'm just proud of what I've made with the people that have helped me make it. I couldn't have made it without them. I can't draw. So there you go. But I can tell stories. And thanks to them, I can tell even better stories. And I'm really, like I said, quite sad I won't be home. I was gonna do a signing at Phantom of the Attic in Pittsburgh. I had arranged it with the shop that I was gonna do a signing. I was gonna bring comics and do a signing there. It was I was so excited, so, so excited about that and can't do it. Um, we won't be traveling. The, the girls, it's, my daughters have both been talking about my mom and dad's dog lately, Gracie, and you can tell they just miss it. And we all just, that's always home. No matter where I live, this is my home. I'm in the Pittsburgh and the woods up my, my parents' house is in near north of the city about you know, 30 minutes straight north, that is home, and I miss it right now. But this comic is home. It's a slice of home, it's zombies. Zombies are Pittsburgh. Every Pittsburgh kid, um, I think, wants to be a zombie. That was me sort of paraphrasing um, Tom Savini when I met him several years ago, when that comic first came out, actually, and he looked at it and read it, and I gave him a copy he was supposed to keep, and he handed it back to me. <laughs> So, um, but he was very nice, uh, and he was very complimentary of our George Romero-inspired character there, of my George Romero-inspired character. And, but I miss home, and this comic is home, and I miss my family at Christmas, and I hope to see them next year, and I hope to see them in the summer, and um, I hope to see you guys around and here on YouTube, and uh, thank you so much for your support. I didn't, I'm getting very emotional here at the end of this. Um, I appreciate it. I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with joy that this comic gets to exist and um, it's been a long road to get there which will be printed and told now. It's, it's awesome that it will get told and I'm just so happy that it exists and will exist and that people can have it in their collections and including me. <laughs> that's, that's really what this is about, me having a new comic book. Um, but thank you so much. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I will probably do a wrap up video about all this in early January. So thank you so much for your support. Bye.